A Bay Area rapper is reaching youth in a new way tonight, not through his music, but by sharing his struggles with mental health. Stanley Cox, better known as Mr. Fab, has been hosting monthly meetups he calls Thug Therapy. NBC Bay Area's Jody Hernandez. Thug Therapy. Monthly meetups he calls Thug Therapy. NBC Bay Area's Jody Hernandez shows us how the rap artist is teaching healing, uniting, and guiding. I'm not giving up on you. I'm not giving up on you because I know that whatever you're doing is a response. It's secondary. That's the message. Yeah, a response to DNA, man. <laughs> it's a response to DNA, man, not white the white man and shit like that, man. I'm not giving up on you. I'm not giving up on you because I know that whatever you say he looked like me, man. Let me look at myself again. <laughs> oh, yeah, you look like me. Oh, word. Hey, man. Still, man, even if you do look like me, man, um, it's DNA, brother. There ain't no response to nothing. This is response to DNA. I'm not giving up on you. I'm not giving up on you because I know that whatever you're doing is a response. It's secondary. That's the message rapper Mr. Fab wants Bay Area youth to hear. The Oakland rap legend has reached millions with his music, but now he's focused on reaching his audience. Who want to hear some of the stylings of Mr. Fab, man? Press one if you want to hear some of the musical stylings of Mr. Fab, man. <laughs> Mr. Fab. I never heard any of his music, but I have heard his name before. I haven't heard any of his music, I ain't even gonna lie, but I've, heard, I've definitely heard his name, man. Um, but I never heard, I never, I never listened to any of his music. Mr. Fab. Audience in person about mental health. Unfortunately, especially black and brown men, we have never had a safe space where we can feel like black and brown. The fuck is you talking about black and brown, man? I don't see no goddamn Migos in this motherfucker. Black and brown. The fuck? Why can't they just say black? They always got to throw brown in there. Them brown people don't give a fuck about you. And when I say they don't, I mean I literally mean they don't. I went to an El Salvadorian church for a year. Three sermons a day. They had three services a day. Morning, noon, and night. I would catch the um, night service. I didn't know it was a cult. An international cult, too. It ain't like it was just a local cult. Light of the world. La Luz del Mundo. But I went to that church all the time. Every day. It's right across the street from my job. Never once. And they was very accepting of me. Because I went with my um, my El Salvadorian friend who I worked My co-worker got me involved in the church. They're very accepting of me. Nice, very nice people. Never once did they have anything that had anything to do with sun people. They just never mentioned sun people. They never thought about sun people. There was no fucking indication at any point that they that there was any relation or any union or coalition. And I was there for a year. Even with white people, they, they didn't have any, they were very insular people, man. They were just about themselves. Unfortunately, especially black and brown men, we have never had a safe space where we can feel like I can cry in front of this complete stranger and still be respected as a man. I can, I can, I can, I can be vulnerable in these spaces. I can tell you about the things that have troubled me. Mr. Fab, whose real name is Stanley Cox, first revealed publicly about his own mental health struggles to NBC Bay Area back in July, breaking down on camera. And there are times where it feels like 
The world is closing in on me. Since then, he's held a half dozen monthly meetups, encouraging young men to reveal their own pain and get the support they need to heal. To say now, listen, I do think that son, sons need therapy, man. I do believe that. I 100% believe that. I will say that sons therapy can can help sons. Therapy can help sons because sons, our culture is so macho. Our culture, the culture that we created from our own DNA and our own worldview and our own mind and our own um, humaneness is very macho. So, yeah, I think therapy would be good, man, for, for sons. It would be great if these sons could go sit down for 30 minutes with somebody every week and talk about the niggas that's trying to kill them and the motherfucker that keep fucking with them at school and the nigga that keep threatening them and shit. And how they scared to go to this certain area because the guys over there don't like them. Instead of holding that in and trying to be extra tough and shit. Because a lot of these little niggas, they walk around scared. They walking around scared. And I'm not talking about necessarily only a block and whatnot. But they scared. It's, it's, it's plenty of places in their city where they scared to go. It's plenty of little dudes their age that they terrified of. That bully them and treat them bad. The world is closing in on me. Since then, he's held a half dozen monthly meetups encouraging young men to reveal their own pain and get the support they need to heal. To say, this is what I'm going through. Now, how many of my friends, counterparts, brothers uh, in this brotherhood will admit that they're going through the things that I'm going through? To be honest, I almost shed a tear because I was like, like, what he said was like, it was so relatable to me. The teenagers who participated say hearing Mr. Fab share his struggles has made an impact. Coming here is helping me is is helping me bring out like some stuff that I haven't revealed to nobody yet. And he's uh, a credible messenger for individuals who are also able now to relate beyond the music to yeah. I have experienced some of the same levels of anxiety and depression as you. While well, making music still drives him. Mr. Fab says his so-called thug therapy is now part of his personal mission. In Oakland, Jody Hernandez, NBC Bay Area.